One of the things that kill us quickly in this world is permitting undue pressure to mount up in our body system. Because our system is constantly working 24 hours in a day, we don't know the workings of our bodies. Because many times we don't see these things working inside us. When you eat, your food is being processed. Something is working inside you to process and digest the food. But you can't notice it. And so we don't know that our, our bodies are working. Internal organs are working. They must never stop working. When we put undue pressure on them, we are killing ourselves. Good morning. You are welcome to today's edition of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the God of the universe, the God of all flesh, your father, my father, has put another word in my mouth this morning to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you. My prayer is that God will fill you with divine ability and God will make you to be unstoppable by any sickness or disease. You're going to mount up like the eagle in the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to rule in the midst of your enemies. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Today, I want to continue from where I stopped yesterday. I'm talking about undue pressure. Many times we allow pressure to destroy us without knowing. You must understand that our bodies are like machines. When you put a machine to work, sometimes it needs to rest. When machine is working continuously without rest, it soon breaks down. This is the reason why we service our engines and our machines like our cars. We must service it. If we don't service it, eventually it will break down. And that is why sometimes even our phone is good to switch it off for it to rest. Because if we don't, sometimes it will get, you know, fault. And so it is the same with our body. For instance, when you want to take something, you don't know how the the mechanics that happens inside your body that makes you to reach out your hand to take that thing. You see? You don't know, no matter how you look at it, how the air is growing on your head. You don't know the workings of your body that when you eat food, that food is digested. You don't know how it's working. Your body is working every time. Every part of it is important and it must not be overstressed. When we strength our muscles of our leg, we know because it is outside. But there are so many muscles and nerves on the inside that tenses up. Many of us, we kill ourselves with pressure. Oh, I must buy that car. And we become worried and kill ourselves with anxiety. Oh, this is it, my son, my husband, my wife. And we put that pressure in our life. And in our body, what happens is that when we allow these things, they enter into our body and they begin to tense us. Do you know that our eyes have got muscles, our face have got muscles. You can squeeze your face. There are internal muscles in your face. When you squeeze them too much, they break down. A nervous system can break down. And somebody can be sick, God forbid. You must understand what God meant when he said, Be still and know that I am God. You must learn the secret of being still in the presence of God. You must learn to sit down and put yourself under no pressure whatsoever. You must learn to lie down and allow every tension out of your body. This morning, God is asking me to teach you and to show you how to live. You must take times out every day just to relax. 
The reason why they give us break at work or in school to just go and relax is that our body, our brain is working. We need to relax it. We are giving, when I was in school, I, I was in a boarding school. So they, they compulsory us to have siesta. Siesta means sleeping in the afternoon. There must be a time just to rest and to sleep. You must learn to just sit down, do nothing, think nothing. This is how to do it. If you sit down, just relax your head and tell yourself, I relax my head now. I relax the tension of my face and make sure you see it physically relaxing. Just make sure my face is relaxed now. The tension of my eyes is relaxed now. Then you say the tension of my hand is relaxed. Don't clench your fist. Just relax your hand. Relax your leg. Just sit down. Completely relax. Do this. Maybe for just 10 minutes. You are not thinking. You are not asking. You are not praying. You are not doing nothing. You are just there. Your purpose, your intention is just to relax. You relax. When you are relaxed like this, even the intestines and the liver, everything relaxed. They rest. You see, this is why this is one of the things fasting does. Fasting relaxes some tissues and nerves and organs of our body that are constantly working to digest our food. You need this time just to relax. Another way to do it is just to get on your bed, lie flat on your back and face up, and just consciously relax. The tension of your hand, just relax your fingers, relax your hand. Don't raise it up, just relax it, relax your leg. Just relax, just relax. You are not thinking. And when you are relaxing like this, so many think, thoughts will be coming. Oh, you have not phoned Mr. Joe. Oh, you need to visit the, 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 the chemist. You just, those thoughts will come, just let them go. As they come, release them. Don't engage in them. Relax. When you relax, at least do this for five to ten minutes. If you can do this five, ten minutes a day. But you ask me, but I relax in the night. Yes, but many times, even when you are think, when you are sleeping, you are not relaxed. That's why you wake up tired. You wake up tired because when you are sleeping, you are thinking, you are tensed. The muscles are tense. You don't know because you are tense. All those thoughts is tensing you. It's posting you into undue pressure. Get rid of this undue pressure. Power comes when you understand how to relax. You relax everything. You will be refreshed. You will be rebranded. You will be renewed. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Do you know what it means to wait upon the Lord? Do you? What do you do when you wait? You sit down. You just wait. If you visit a manager of a company and you are told to wait, you sit down and wait for him. That is what the Bible says. They that wait upon the Lord, you sit down and wait upon the Lord to renew your strength, to come to your body when your body is relaxed. When your body is relaxed, the Lord comes and renews your strength, renews your body. Sicknesses will disappear when you learn to relax. I don't know why God is asking me to speak these words to you. But think about it, you are too busy, 24-7, you are out, you wake up early, you are out, you come back late, every day is like that, take time to relax, take time to relax, the work is always there, your life may not always be there, relax. This is the word that God put in my mouth to speak to you today, and I hope you have heard. Thank you for listening I would like you to 
rebroadcast this to your friends and loved ones because I want as many people as possible to hear this so that they can live longer through this information. Thank you again. It is well with your soul you are able to hear these messages every day because of the contributions of the partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. Thank you, partners. I appreciate the great work you are doing. God continues to bless you in Jesus' name. Once again, please rebroadcast this, and God will bless you for doing that. If somebody loved you, rebroadcasted this to you, you love this message, because they may not rebroadcast it to you another time. If you want me to rebroadcast this to you, because surely I preach this every day. Something like this is preached every day and is sent out. It's been done for more than six years now, maybe seven years. You see? In fact, more than that. Okay, thank you again. It is well with your soul. Please um, save this number if you want me to send this directly to you. The number is plus 27740302381. Save it with I Prevail. Go to your Telegram or WhatsApp. Send me this simple message. Add me. From tomorrow, you will receive this message from me. Thank you again, your brother, your friend, your pastor. Joseph Adenuga, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.